Hey Bat community, we are out in the 1991 Alfa Romeo uh, Spider and just doing a quick road test to see uh, how the car runs and drives. We just serviced it at the Alfa Romeo Maserati dealer here in Victoria, British Columbia in preparation to send it to the US. Uh, the current odometer reading is 31,191 kilometers. Uh, I reset the trip odometer when we started. We've gone just over a kilometer now, so that's about 18,000 miles. There's no need to change the speedometer if it's entering into the US because it's over 25 years old. Um, but this car was sold new at John Scotty Automobiles in Montreal, Quebec, <clears throat> then went to Alberta. Last owner had quite a significant collection of uh, cars, and this was a little toy he bought car has an additional radio that was last installed. We put the original radio back in. Um, this one's equipped with the power windows and power mirrors. Both, both windows work. Both mirrors work. Um, just check the wipers. They work. Uh, headlights work. Turn signals work. Car pulls as it should. Just adjusting the mirrors, they both work. There's two brand new mirrors in uh, the trunk because there's some paint uh, that's come off on uh, both mirrors. So I don't know if the last person decided to buy two new mirrors or what it was for what reason, but I'm sure that was it. Uh, hazard lights work, uh, transmission feels good, shifts well, uh, clutch is good. Tachometer works, uh, the temperature gauge works, the fuel gauge works, oil pressure gauge works, battery gauge works. The car's really tight, we just put four new tires on it, uh, Michelin's. out of the top in the same spot on both sides. I'm going to guess that anybody driving this car is driving it top down 90% of the time, so probably not something I'd fix. So I'm just uh, taking a temporary fix on the inside there already once, so it's probably the way to go. All the carpets and seats and dash and steering wheel, like there's, there's no wear on the steering wheel or the shifter. Um, I noticed the shift boot has a little tear there. Nothing that I would be overly concerned with. All the hardware works for the windows. Seals are in good shape. The underside of the car was really impressive. It, uh, I don't know if anybody knows the climate in Montreal, but certainly not a climate you want to be driving this car in the winter. So it's clear as day this has been a summer driver for somebody uh, over the years because there's no sign of uh, winter weather on the underside of the car. We uploaded some pictures there. Um, we did paint meter readings. For the most part, I believe the car is original paint in the hood. I noticed a little uh, fish eye here and there, but I don't know if that was just the way they were from the factory uh, or if it's been painted. So if original paint is 
uh, the most important thing to you. Uh, we can check into things further, but I believe it is mostly original. Um, this one has its original box, original radio uh, uh, manual, the original uh, dealer directory, uh, the PDI certificate from John Scotty Automobiles uh, in uh, Quebec, uh, showing the day the car was delivered to the first owner. So I think it's a pretty complete uh, car overall. That, that exhaust rattle you hear under load, we'll have it looked at tomorrow and see if it's something we can fix. If we can, we'll let anybody know, but it's just a hanger issue. I'm not sure of it. Well, I think uh, other than that, we've got a good solid car. We're doing 70 kilometers an hour now, which is Everything seems to go as it should. The car is really tight. All the suspension is tight. Uh, no rattles as you, as you go over bumps. Um, we've got the top up right now. Because um, I don't think you can hear us with the top down. If you have any other questions, let us know. Um, we will do our best to answer them. But this is a car to have no, uh, no hesitation to get into and drive you know, from Lane, Washington, or uh, Victoria, British Columbia, wherever you want to pick it up. Any U.S. buyer will supply the car sitting in the U.S. on a U.S. title. Uh, treat it like you're buying it in Blaine, Washington, which is near Seattle. We'll assist you with any shipping. Any Canadian buyers will help you ship the car to your province of choice and make it a real easy process for you. So don't worry about the border. We take care of all of that. We do it daily. 